we are on the third of the color mini series today, which is blue. Frankly, I'm amazed we got this far. Normally, I'm not very um, good at the consistency thing. It's good. It's great. We are now halfway through the six mini series project. If anyone here is new to what I'm doing, I'm basically tackling my fear of color and bright things that are not strictly black, white or grey in my own art by using one single colour as the main part of the illustrations I'm doing in this series. So without further ado, let's do that. Hello, hello, welcome back to the colour mini series of mine. This week we are doing blue, which I hinted at in the last purple video. The link will be above. Now, as far as lessons go from the purple one, a lot of things came to light. Mainly that even though I'd used different hues of purple, I still hadn't incorporated lighting into the piece in any way, shape, or form. So with this one, I decided to try an underwater scene with light streaming in from the surface just above where we're looking at the skeleton. See, we're back to the usual fare. And I'm not too fussed about the light streaks being a little bit wobbly and I tried to keep the blue a little bit denser and darker towards the base of it and all in all I don't think I did too bad. One thing I have to watch with watercolour is that it dries lighter than the colour I put it down as. So what I think it's uh, the correct amount of value and darkness when I lay it down, when I come back to it once it's dry, it's actually all gone into a very samey kind of value yet again, so I have to go back and fix it with layers and layers and layers. One thing I tried to keep in mind, even though I'm just purely using blue in this one with a slight hint of bluish grey for the fabric, was that underwater, the blue hue of the water obviously mutes all of the colours used, so literally everything from the belt to its clothes to the fabric above had to have the strong blue tone, and trying to find a suitable difference to provide contrast was a little tricky. Honestly, without the lines, I doubt I would have done it in a more effective manner, but that's why I have a line style, that's why I like the additional contrast of black lines versus the surrounding thing, and grey lines providing a little bit of contrast and definition, but not, not being too bad otherwise. Okay, as I said before, just a quick one this week. The next one in the colour series will be green, and I'm uploading the next uh, Local Fool Tries one soon as well, so that should come in handy. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye and thank you.